Yeah! It's episode 8! Or something. Top 5! Top 5? I mean, the, the web server thing is... What's up, Geek Shop Podcast? What's up, Geek Shop Podcast? We don't have bumpers for that yet. Yet. But... Mysterious sound. It says we're number eight. It's two-ish weeks into the new year, 2021. We're going to do top five video game-inspired toy lines. Lines? Fig skis? Toy lines? That's the top five today, yes. Top five video game-inspired... So that could be almost anything, but also almost nothing, because I did a lot of my research, I came up with a lot of the same bullshit. Popular games be popular, but that's about it. Mm-hmm. There's almost certainly some overlap between the two of us. Maybe. It'd be weird if there wasn't. Maybe. But I'll tell you this, what's not on the list, because it's too new and in my fucking space, is Halo Wars! Because it's the only thing that Walmart in this area has, is Halo Wars. Which, it's cool, it's two different scales, but it's fucking everywhere. It's driving me insane. Are are you just talking about the the Halo toy line by Jazzwares? Yeah, yeah, Bullshit. Okay, Halo Wars is a game that came out like a decade ago. Is it not the same thing? It has a HLW, I thought the W was for Wars. Halo Infinite. Halo... Infinite, yeah. Infinite War. To subvert the lower class! Anyway... (laughs) <laughs> we'll go on with the hunt, the things that we've picked up along the way since we last spoke. But first, I am Billy at the underscore swan underscore man on Twitter, and you are David. I'm I'm still David. This I'm, isn't I'm, adding up. I'm changing. This paperwork. Centuries. That's terrible. There's a mummy joke in there somewhere, but I don't know. The mummy. <laughs> Kevin J. O'Connor watched. There will be blood with Kevin J. O'Connor. That's a movie that doesn't need a toy line, but I'd buy. I'd buy a plain view. But yeah, what have you picked would. up? Yeah, I would. What'd you pick up on your hunt since last we spoke? Because then what have I it's got, a broader. I got uh, the scientist from uh, the Fortnite line. One of the big thirty dollars figures. Is that the cat or the? <laughs> Is that the other one? That's not Meowsel's. It's not Meowsles, no. I mean, Meowsles is top tier, but... $30! <laughs> yeah, I wasn't expecting that jump in price. That's deluxe, I guess, though, so... You're getting a premium figure for a premium price. Premium. Right? Uh, well, they're seven inches, roughly, so they're about an inch taller than the regular figures, and one of the, one of the weapons they come with shoots a missile. Hmm, I don't like missiles. Yeah. Alright, cool. So it's the other one that's not Meowsles, it's the... He's shaped like a potato peeler or whatever. Sure. Alright. <laughs> Looks like big space armor. Space! I think that's pretty much all I've found. Horrible. Other than that, I've been hunting Transformers and coming up with Jack Squat. And... Well, they have the, uh, what? Optimus Primal and the other one now. And I was yeah, like, I'm finding none of the Kingdom stuff, none of the Studio Series 86. Everything I'm looking for. Are they <laughs> just releasing things in tandem now? Is it just like everything all oh, at once? there's been multiple. There's always multiple different style Transformers lines out. I hate it, thanks. Great job. Thanks, Transformers. Well, it was a banner week, as witnessed by the YouTube fandom, so that, that one guy and the German <laughs> fellow... Hey, he commented when, uh, while I was going live, but AEW Unrivaled Wave 3 pre-ordered in December. It dropped in January. Someone pointed out less than a month because the goal for Jazzwares and AEW is to eventually have case fresh month by month by month by month. So we're not there yet. We're not even close. But AEW Unrivaled 3 consisting of Darby Allen, Orange Cassidy, Riho, Pac, and the Young Bucks dressed as the Young Bucks. And those figures rule. There's a video, it's like 20 minutes of me going through, un- unboxing each and every one, breaking some poor scalper's heart with each rend and tear on the on the packaging, but, you know, there it is. I Darby Allen is probably one of the best. Darby and Orange are probably two of the best, like, wrestling figures? 
I'm shrugging my shoulders, that have my come out. Still wants to call him Orange Julius. Sure, why not? <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's whatever, man. But those two like transcend the genre to the point where it's like those are pretty excellent. If Super Seven, the way that the prototypes look, are as over chunky and big as they appear, this is the opposite where they're lean small and like more human shaped which is only a plus in my book plus you can swap out everyone's legs so if you want to put different gear on someone eventually you can save some torsos one two or three of them actually pop off and it's the only way to get the bucks gear off in the video is to pop the torso off and the head and take this this vest off and through that it's like it snaps right back on because it's a lot like the hacks which i gotta say now, uh, wrestling figures, they're not my bag. I don't collect them. But that uh, Orange Cassidy figure, I, I think I want an Orange Cassidy figure just for his his focused disinterest. <laughs> he has that the thumbs is, up, that too. That is an attitude I can get behind. <laughs> complete with thumbs up. Complete with, on the video, you get to see the true joy in my face. He was the only one with the true effects that had glasses on. And so it's a gamble as to whether or not those eyes are printed on his eyeballs. They were. But this is the times we live in. Every now and then you yeah, get a wonky, enough. wonky true effects where it's like, I, I don't like any of that. My hunt also consisted of something a little different from what we usually talk about. I got some vintage, vintage MOC action that will remain MOC. I don't think I've talked about MOCing all that much on the pod. The pewed. But uh, falling down a Batman 89 and returns hole thanks to a Facebook group, the Michael Keaton Academy of Getting Nuts. <laughs> uh. <laughs> You've seen the memes. So there's been, thanks to Stimmy Wang Yang, there's been, I've seen the card back for uh, Jack Nicholson Joker. I have no recollection of as a kid. And the card art is so of its era and excellent that I had to track one of those down. So I got a mint, 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 crispy, clean card back with that art. And I got a, so that's Sky Escape Joker, which has a Jack Nicholson inspired head sculpt. Because this is the first time that Kenner took over from Toy Biz. So in the in-between before Batman Returns is the Dark Knight collection. And this is the right after Toy Biz loses it and they get it. Movie inspired card backs that don't, last because then they replace the movie photos and like art with drawing drawings like prototype pics whatever but this is one with an actual nicholson-esque head sculpt and he comes with a nicholson head art along with the 89 batman logo and then of course there's a batman card back for quick change bruce wayne the classic and i'd never really seen those cards i have no recollection of seeing those cards in person i may have but I'm pretty good memory when it comes to to that era. Like Robocop and G.I. Joe and all that. I remember the card backing. Not that G.I. Joe hasn't not been around, but you get it where it's like, I have those memories and I, that escapes me, but it's Joker time. I had to rub that rhubarb, so I got these minty, minty boys for my, my pegboard wall, which looks pretty fantastic. A little grab at Target. Believe it or not, Target had something while hunting for my chase mocks that the app said was available it is not there was a prince adam a sky sled so i grabbed that oh you got one good i i wouldn't have if it wasn't for the fact that i've seen it two or three times and nothing else so poor cringer battle cat is a peg warmer at that 24.99 price like no one really cares and this damn thing is humongous and it did a disservice i didn't know it was as detailed as it was until I like got it back home and looked at it. But for fear of missing out, I need the Prince Adam. Because I'm already neck deep in He-Man. Thanks, WWE Eternia. But I'm so neck deep in He-Man, you can't have He-Man without Prince Adam. Plus he has the combined sure. sword as one sword, not the two separate slivers. So, eh, Sky Sled. It, it can turn into two different vehicles. That's pretty righteous. So, yeah, it's worth 30 bucks. Why not? And uh, in terms of adult collecting, the last thing I'll mention on the hunt, Extreme Sets, extreme-sets.com, 
wore me down with their beautiful fig photography, or at least someone using their stuff for fig photography. And I ordered the uh, backstage set, which is just horrendously large. But it adds yet another bit of gravitas to my in-home arena. The thing is huge, but it unifies things. It's just, it's next level. And they have all kinds of stuff for all kinds of, uh, you know, scales, 112 and 118. So I'm really holding out for a damn Western diorama now for my my dime novel legends. I just need a Western one. I don't have any... Just a bar room. Yeah, anything for a shootout. A saloon. Yeah, 100%. They have bars and police stations for modern and 80s and stuff like that for your Marvel Legends or whatever else you collect. Great for NECA. But there's just not cowboy theme yet. Fingers crossed. It'd be so easy. They're so sturdy, it would look so delicious. I must have. But that that's... That's the hunt for me. What what do you have in terms of news for what's next? Where we talk about what's next? <laughs> uh, McFarlane. McFarlane unveiled his next uh, DC figure wave, and it's Spawn. all Spawn. It's all Batman Return or Batman Beyond stuff, and I am all over that shit. That's the ginormous eight inch. <laughs> yeah, they're weird, not a scale, but. Uh... I mean, we haven't seen this much love to, for Batman Beyond since since the original toy line. I think you could just say never. It had a toy line. It had a toy line. <laughs> wow, shrug, big shrug ski. So they made Batman. They made a Terry McGinnis with high heels and all already. So this is going to fill in with that figure, right? Yes. Uh, no, that figure's part of the line. So they've got Terry. They've got Terry. This, this is based on uh, the current DC comic as far as I understand it. Okay. So there, there's a Batwoman in a line who I have no clues to wear in that costume. Terry McGinnis. There's going to be a uh, Blight who is his main villain in the cartoon. But the best out of that entire wave, that Shriek looks awesome. So cool. I mean, it's not like they're hard to find these days. True enough, but this is the first time that uh, McFarlane has put out anything in the DC line where I've looked at an entire wave and said, yes. Oh, yeah. No. Yes to the whole thing. <laughs> Pre-order, or are you going to gonna hoof it? I'm going to hoof it. We'll hunt it down in person. Do you think there's going to be, I mean, naturally, there's going to be variants that are going to be available. Do you think well, he's gonna... McFarlane, if he didn't do paint jobs, how would he pay for everything else? We've well, had alternate heads and stuff, too, so... I'm not certain what the Build-A-Figure is, to be honest. It's got, uh, it looks like Batman. It's got an alternate Joker head. Hmm. I mean, if it's supposed to be old man Bruce Wayne in an exoskeleton, it doesn't look like it to me. Hmm. If there's a reference there, I'm not seeing it. Right. But I'm going to end up having it, so... Hey! Keep us informed. <laughs> I wrote that down, too, because I figured you'd pick up on that. And I oh, yeah. Retweet on the tweets. Super 7 announced yesterday, and it's not available yet by my mind, but Super 7 announces another entry into the Conan the Barbarian line, Ultimate Conan Night Strike Conan? I think that's what it would be called? With the sick... I mean, <laughs> technically speaking, yes, that was his, uh, that was his thief gear. With the body paint, he has a little spatter of blood, and he can do the pose, so his hair is not windblown, but it's an even closer, more badass version of a plain Jane Conan. Ah, yeah, that's an instant pre-order for me. I already got the line! They actually put the link up at some point. Yeah, I already got, well, I mean, it'll be, it's Super 7, it'll be in pre-order limbo for 18 months. It'll be fine. No worries. Put it in BBTS, forget about it. They'll get to it when they get to it, why not? But since I already have... That is the good thing about BBTS is you will get it. It might be later than anywhere else, but it's not going to get canceled. Later than Megalopolis? Uh, we, we, don't, we don't speak of them. Uh, <laughs> I pre-ordered a thing. I'm going to see if it beats the other thing that goes with it. In terms of They Live, there's only one way to get Keith David. So... 
I'll see if Keith David beats John Nada here. That'll be that'll be interesting. <laughs> it's a race. Sure. Ah, uh, buh, buh, buh. So, yay, Night Strike Conan. I'm here for it. Can't wait to actually see some things in hand. Playmate. Wow. Weird. Playmates announces turtle packs? But there's two of them? One in the shell wagon and one in the terror drome. They say it's rotocast figures. It comes like four or six figures per vehicle. So, Playmates has it now. It's very similar to the box sets by uh, Super Seven. Everybody has the Turtles license these days, and they're cool. all a lot with the Turtles license. I, I'm down. But, but hey, I mean, uh, yeah, the more the merrier. Lot of Baxter Stockman, but I mean, these look like repros of the original ones, but I guess they're smaller. I didn't get a lot, of, a lot of detail in that. It's just they must be because they come in the little. If they're not smaller, then they might be like inarticulated. Or something. Something's got to give. But they look more like the classic, like Shredder has had a stroke because his one arm is doing that <laughs> curled up bullshit that I never understood as a kid. Bullshit! That's what it was. Or AEW News! God! It was announced today, AEW Unrivaled 4. No picks, but somebody leaked a package that had been revealed. Someone, like, took a picture of the back of a box for some reason. Of Santana? who is one half of Proud and Powerful. So it reveals that the lineup will be, and it has been confirmed by Jeremy Pedauer and Jazzwares today, that it will consist of Sammy Guevara, Santina, Santana, not Santino, fuck him, Santana and Ortiz, <laughs> Matt Hardy, Cody Rhodes, and Kenny Omega. A lot of fanboys bitching about another Cody and another Kenny, because... They bitch. It's fandoms are trash. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Point out, point out <laughs> an available Cody or Kenny on the pegs right now. You can't. But also, you have to have a new Cody because he had that neck tattoo right when the figures were announced, and so there is no figure representing his modern neck tattoo self. And it looks like he'll come with the Metal Gear Solid gear. So hooray! Maybe Pharaoh the dog. Don't know. But I'm intrigued. So the weak weak link for me in that lineup is probably Kenny because I have two: one from Wave One, one from the Ring. However, uh, you know, it's the cut, co- it's the skin correction thing too. Wave Three had the skin correction. Wave Two kind of had the skin correction. This time it should be all well and good. So I'm I'm Provided fine. Nothing happens in between. I'm fine with redundancy as long as we get some tag titles out of it. I'll be even better. And that's the the rumor, the ballyhoo, and I believe it, that Kenny will come with one half of the tag team titles, as that was the era where he was tagging with Hangman, Adam Page, and they were tag team champions. So double up on Kenny's for the belts, for two belts? I've done crazier shit. I'll probably do that. (laughs) Gotta have the two belts, man. But at this rate, I can probably unload that extra Kenny somewhere. Anywhere! Because it is, it is slim pickings and only for the elite. Until, you know, it's supposed to be a target at Walmart. That's what all the apps tell me, but they lie. Also, yeah, no AEW un- announced through Jeremy Padauer on Twitter that Unrivaled is the line that they have right now, and that Unmatched will be another line that will ride in tandem with Unrivaled, so that it ensures, as mentioned, one new case of figures every month. So, hooray... It's not supposed to be a repaint wave, but just further characters. That makes me wonder if that's going to be the Legends line that they mentioned, or if it's just going to be like AEW Dark, like lower tier people. I'm, I'm down for it because that was Jack's great success with wrestling every time they did it, was ensuring that everybody got a figure, regardless of how popular or whatnot. So everybody has to have representation. Come on! You have two Kennys and two Cody's coming in. Let's see. Ah, that that bleeds into a hot toy take. Unless you got more news. Um, no, mostly quiet on my end. Horrible. But do you have a hot toy take? A take for the hot. A take for the toys. I have a thing that happened within the last week that has kind of... (laughs) 
I suppose irked me is the best way to Hell put yeah, it. Hell yeah, throw a brick I, through the I, window. I understand the circumstances and why it happened, but... Mm. Alright, so... Name names! <laughs> I pre-ordered a an upgrade kit for my Generation 2 Sideswipe for Transformer Siege. Now, the pre-order kit is from a company called ZXB. That ain't and no name. I pre-ordered this way back in May. And there's just been no long information time. coming out of ZXB about when this was going to be coming available as they have been putting other upgrade kits out in the meantime. Now, I pre-ordered this from uh, TF Safari. And as of last week, it said it shipped. I was like, well, fucking finally. Fantastic. Okay, cool. But what I got was not the ZXB upgrade kit. It was TF Safari's in-house company Matrix Workshop's 3D printed kit. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. But was it the same items in theory? No. Okay. I mean, it works with if the upgrade, if their version of an upgrade kit for that character. Right, but it's not the same upgrades that would be. Had. It's not what I'm looking for. It's not the same plastics. Not the same material. You know. I mean, yeah. Now, 3D printed toys. I'm not entirely certain. I got to dig through my bank accounts because I need to check my friggin' statement from May of last year to make certain I wasn't charged in full. Then they may have sent it to me for free. I took four emails to their customer service to get them to finally respond to me and explain that ZXB hasn't put out any updates and that they may not be producing this after all. And they sent their version as a replacement. Ah, okay. It's possible they sent it without charging me. That would be nice. I don't know. <laughs> so like I said, I get where they're coming from, but really, and I can't stress this enough, contact your customers before doing something like that. That's why contact we use MailChimp. Well ahead of time. <laughs> Mail, Mail Crimp? Where are they based out of the production that made up Anagram uh, Place? ZXB? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I believe China. China! Well, TF Safari is also based in China. They have no reason to drag their feet lately. Huh. But, I mean, that'd be sick if you got a freebie. I mean, hey. Yeah, I'd, I'd be cool with that. Like I said, <laughs> I gotta dig through my bank accounts. This motherfucker's offshore and shit! <laughs> Just trying to run tax scheme. Should you be saying that over the non-existent air? Yeah. I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> my hot toy take is in regards to the Target app. Specifically, the Target app. I allowed push notifications. It got AEW Unrivaled things on it. It's like, you know, you can add it to your shopping list and all that. And the rumor was that, you know, they were carrying AEW at the beginning of the new year because 2020 was the only time that it was going to be exclusive to Walmart. Thank the maker, because... That sucked. I don't even know if you could, like, pre-order AEW Unrivaled at Walmart. That's a whole other kettle of fish. The downside being that... With exclusives not limited to AEW, but with WWE and Star Wars, if there's an item that has been shipped, or is supposed to be shipped, like it knows where I am, it has my two targets laid out in the app, it will give me a push notification being like, oh, this item is now in stock, available in stores, right now. I just happen to have an afternoon off too, so I was like, fuck yeah, little Huntsky, let's get it. Assuming that, you know, it had been released, and that that thing kind of gives you a push notification when it's in the system proper, right? The freight is unloaded, it is on the peg, or at least set to be on the peg and available. Because it sure as hell does that when it's out of stock or non-existent. And the app itself will tell you the shelf, you know, like, the aisle number and everything. And I get all these rad push notifications, I'm like, cool, I'm there. It's in store. Because I can't... (laughs) I can't order it for delivery, I can't order it for pickup... It just has the little green like text being like, in store, in your store, in your literal block. It's like, sweet, gonna do it. I go do it, not a damn thing, nothing, nothing even close to anything. So like, big waste, but why the push notification? I understand the argument by 
some air quotes influencers out there that oh exclusives are good for the business because it gets boots in the stores and all those impulse buys and it just gives time in store where there would not have been but they don't know me <laughs> it's like if it's empty i'm out because i got nothing i have no further business with target or walmart yeah. <laughs> that's that's a that's a very important detail right there. I don't think they realize that impulse buys aren't going to be as common a thing with collectors. We're there for a very specific thing, and especially nowadays, we're not going to linger. <laughs> we're not going to hang out. I, I wound up hanging out with <laughs> dog-faced, fucking hounded, haunted balding middle-aged men like myself uh with their sweatshirts and all that shit like hovering over the hot wheels hovering over the fucking star wars the other in the transformers aisle they're all doing the casual no look walk and i'm just like god damn it (laughs) oh pop finder says you have six cases but it's just like the app itself the literal app is being bad at apping because it's like this thing is available go get it i it's fine that it uses vague term you know the concept of a john moxley chase is here but that just means AEW is there. I would like to check out the one stripe they have. And stripe, I mean peg. One peg. Yeah. <laughs> one peg of unrivaled. That's just hollow. And it's a sea of empty pegs. Yeah. Blank peg board. Two pegs for uh, Royal Rumble elites. N- not a one in sight. And Star Wars? I found the... The one lady. <laughs> the annoying cult leader. I found her and I was like, cool, don't give a shit. Then I found the next wave, Star Wars. the Mandalorian broad, who was like, oh, I got hook hammers. Oh, the, the armor, okay. So that that was a big waste. But they had the new, new stuff and the shitty cards with Admiral Thrawn and everything. They had a shit ton of that. Han Solo in, in snowy gear and, and whatever. Unrelated to the hunt, yeah, I also... So I'm grabbing, I grab a thing for the kid... And I see on the pegs that they have, uh, at Walmart, they have the vintage Black Series Han Solo, my favorite look of Han Solo, long, long coat. Not the coat, but the jacket. Long sleeves. It's yeah, 11 it's, bucks. Uh, <laughs> it's, uh, Empire Strikes Back. Hell yeah. Uh, Benjamin. I'm like, well... His face sculpt looks strange to me. Harrison Ford has an odd shape. Just watch the Christmas special, they know. Is it anti-Semitic? Probably. Uh... <laughs> Well, Jesus I had two Christ. to choose from, so I chose the the better, and I think it, it worked out pretty well. They got to get the you got to get one with the good bangs and the good part in the middle, because otherwise it fucking it sucks. But I grabbed him for eleven on the on the peg. I go to the checkout and he was six dollars, so it pays to discover. <laughs> Outstanding. That was that was a killer deal. But yeah, fuck you, Target, for all that. Stop push alerting me. Between Target and pizza places, that's all my all my notifications are You're hungry. <laughs> Taco Bell announces we'll eventually have the concept of potatoes. I'm like, cool. Got any got any I one they completely disbelieved the concept of potatoes. Got any one of five hundred John Moxley's in there? No? Okay. Do you have any toy that it also help. I've been I've been bitching about, you know, where things are, and the masked Avenger mentioned to me that I have been bitching about the lack of stock for, like, three to four years. <laughs> because there's just not... It's just not on the pegs, and when it is, it's, like, a case and a half. Across the board. Like, that's just it. It's on the pegs for someone. People are buying these things. It's just not on the pegs here. I mean, we some stores, yeah, they get hit with it. Uh, well, more it's than usual. It's a zone of toy collecting. I've had good luck, though. But that's from finding the two cases worth. If they got more than two cases of inventory at any one time, it's like one case of AEW Complete is six figures. They're gone. That's it. And they're not going to re-up until, what, a month? When the new wave is it? Like, you know, WWE Elites are like, I think they're six or eight to a case. So you get a couple of doubles that you can kind of get one and get a Gronkowski. Yay! But after that, that's the one you're stuck with. Or they'll overdo it and order one of an entire line, just a shit ton of it. And you're stuck with the inevitable peg warmers from each line. But it's hairy, because it's like, there's so much space. And it's just the old 
the old TRU reflex in me of like, why so empty? Don't no, don't fucking spread the fill. Just get the items. Just get items. Yes. Items germane to the thing typed on the peg. <laughs> Please, thank you. <laughs> That's why no stock. You <laughs> you bought out the concept of being a shared like Toys R Us thing. Since Toys R Us went down, Target and Walmart are like, yeah, we're gonna re up, and they nope. haven't. I mean, the guy. I don't know. I don't see how exclusivity is going to has yet to fix that, but I don't know their, like, books. But from an objective person near me, <laughs> they mentioned that this has been just the way it has been since always. And that's kind of, like, depressing, because the novelty of finding something new eventually kind of erases that sour taste out of our mouths for a moment. Uh-huh. Like, hey, cool! But, yeah, no, we... <laughs> it's not good for the brick and mortars. RingsideCollectibles.com! The shit! I love it! Anyway, it's time for Top 5 Video Game Toy Lines! Pew, 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 pew. That's the music. And I did, my, uh, I did my homework for this week. You got five. Well, I figured you might have got five. five. I have an honorable mention of all fucking things. What? Alright. Well, why don't you lead us off with a five-ski? Alright, my number five. My number five of the Top 5 Video Game toy Inspired Toy it's Lines. Five. I gotta go with Jazzwares Fortnite. Holy shit! I'm tagging I mean, is in. It, is it? I mean, I'm currently collecting it. I'm hunting down figures left and right. I don't play the game, but it, it, they they're a fantastic representation of the of the game itself. Hundred percent. Jazzwares six inch <laughs> line or the three and three quarter, which comes with all the building pieces to make your forts and whatnot for. Yeah. For nighttime, I don't know what the game's about. <laughs> Well, yeah, don't they have... They used to have, like, you could build environments, yeah? hmm Yeah, that rules. I don't collect because that's, one, dangerous, but also I have no knowledge of anything. <laughs> but that is also my number five because of what it represents. That that toy line is on the pegs and mm-hmm. has the, yes. the breadth and depth and, like, it has accessories and alternate heads and faces mm-hmm. and... Multiple it, accessories. Multiple expressions. Crazy. Fantastic articulation. Yeah, it's a great toy line. Hot Dog Man, Meowsles, I'm here for that. It's the absurd shit that I see where it's like, it's okay. A, yes, it's imaginative and weird, too. If I were to customize in that scale for just whatever, there have been a handful of bodies and stuff where it's like, that's that's dope. Dudes in suits and, and all kinds of... I've seen many a customizer. It was a Predpool had some on Twitter... Where it's just I don't like, know which one you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. He had the eight ball guys doing some like bank heisty shit with probably an extreme set, so cheap plugs for everybody. But yeah, no, just the look alone. I haven't played the game. I know the gist of it. But that was my number five as well, so shit balls. Yay, Fortnite? <laughs> I'm flossing right now in appreciation for the beauty of that toy line. Only he's doing it. I don't move that much. Well, I'll hit number four then, since we both agree that it is <laughs> Fortnite's the sh- the shit for toys. Yay, Jazzwares! Send us stuff. All right, we are leapfrogging. Go for it. We we are well, yeah. We uh, we are influencers, and we like Jazzwares a lot. Hashtag love wicked cool toys. They're my favorite. At number four is not wicked cool toys at all. It is a common favorite. NECA, and I use NECA because when they dip their toe in video game toys they are excellent because NECA is very good at taking the 2D and like rendered image and making it three dimensional in a way that's not jarring and horrific like the Playmates Simpsons figures I have a list they made Contra they made ones for Freddy Krueger and Jason Voorhees from their respective NES games, and the colorization and everything on that was just clever and fun. And of course, because it's NECA, and because we are where we are, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Timeline, including the shocked variants on certain turtles, like, they went all the way to take care of business for that. So it's, that's fucking rad. They could do any video game, I think, it would be fine. (laughs) I'm particularly fond of the pixelized paint jobs mm-hmm. for the uh, the NES and Super NES characters. Oh hell yeah! No, that is 
They've done that, and then I th- did they do a photo reel contra? I'm not. Certain. No, I don't think they did. They just did the. I think it was just uh, like uh, blotchy paint job, blue guy, blue pants. Frank guy, Stallone pants guy. and Sven Olafsson in the jungle. All American heroes. <laughs> Eastern what European is names. your number four? <laughs> My number four. I looked at. Okay, I was looking at a lot of the toy lines I have, and really, what I went with instead of just picking like a, a company because I considered NECA. I did, but it's like you said, they do bits and pieces of video games, and so I was looking at entire lines. Something, something where you get multiples out of a video game. And ones that I would, if they still existed, that I would still be ba- you know, paying top dollar for. So my number four is Soda's Street Fighter. Ooh, I forgot Those about figures, Soda. Oh my god. Like... To this day, they are still among the best versions of those characters. And if we had gotten the opportunity to see their Dark Soccer's line come out as well, oh yeah, like, like you wouldn't have me on this podcast because I would have starved to death spending all of my money on that stuff. <laughs> those figures were, oh my god, they're still some of the best. I still dig them out and play with them. They're great. Dark wait, Dark Stalkers or the other? No, we didn't. They they had a, a proposed Dark Stalkers line to the point where they had some painted prototypes that they brought to one of the toy cons, and then the company went under. Um, so we've never, I think. Ah, what is that company that you complain about because they have rubber pants? Storm. Or rubber. Storm. Yes, Storm. I think got the license, <laughs> and I think they've put out a couple of. Uh, they put out a couple figures, but it's just not the same. And, you know, plus it's also like three times the price. <laughs> it's about 60 bucks a figure. Yeah. But they all have really chunky muscles and whatnot. Chunk! Muscular men are just chunks. They're just ham goblins. <laughs> You've been to a gym. That's what it looks like. Just a meat mound waiting to die. <laughs> you can hear their pulse from here. <laughs> Smothered in his own nine line hoodie. Ugh. Number three for me. Because it's Billy. Wait, what's your number four? It was NECA. We both your had. Number four is NECA. Then, okay, yeah. yeah we, we agreed on Fortnite. So. Yeah, okay, yeah. We're, we're jumping around. Right. Go for it. Number three. <clears throat> Duke Nukem. Duke Nukem. Oh my god. But no, there's more than... I'm talking Duke Nukem by Rosaurus. Yeah, I remember those. Featuring the Pig Cop, the Octobrain, and two Duke Nukems. Duke Nukem, hail to the king, baby. I I love that shit. I I have the Duke Nukem Forever action figure still. So many neck tendons on that figure. (laughs) Well, you know. He smokes and he has a gun. And the graphics in that game are very similar to Cyberpunk 2077. So there it is. <laughs> but yeah, no, I remember that was the beginning of like... You can see where, where my tastes lie in history and whatnot because this is around the time where I'm getting full-page ads and articles about Rosaurus and ordering these figures through, you know, tear the sheet out with money order or call the number or maybe go on the internet? And collect Duke Nukem, who had just had a really sweet release, a re-release, Duke Nukem, you know, 64, on the Nintendo 64. That game was a lot of fun. Duke Nukem Rules, Planet of the Babes, Duke Nukem Time to Kill, Duke Nukem Forever. I think there's another one that I don't remember. Fuck you, Serious Sam. Duke Nukem Rules. And those figures were rad. They had a lot of accessory. Like, Duke had a lot of fucking guns. And as a kid, I was just, like, amazed that that got over that well. I didn't much care for the Night Stalker Duke Nukem, because that's inaccurate, but what are you going to do? It was a, air quotes, variant for the 90s. Duke Nukem! Rosaurus! Haven't said that name in a long time. I don't think anyone has said Rosaurus in a long time. (laughs) You're number two. 
It would be number three. Oh, what? Jesus. Oh, okay, yeah. Whatever. Yeah, you three, then me three, then you yeah, because we... Right. Goddamn we'll Fortnite. We'll figure this out, guys. Don't worry. This is... This you, is... You this damn is live. Oh, shit. kids in your flossy. <clears throat> number three. My number three. Hasbro's Overwatch figures. Is that the... It, did we not just mention that? No, that was Fortnite. <laughs> Overwatch. I'm not... I'm having a hard time. It's a video game. It's like you're showing algebra to a dog now, because... Is that <laughs> is that not Fortnite? Is that not also the same it's thing? It's not okay. Fortnite. It is a completely different multiplayer game. Do you but, shoot, uh, shoot everybody? Hasbro got the license for it. They unveiled the figures they were put out for that. That was the first time... Like, they were Marvel Legends scale with improved articulation, alternate hands, and on top of everything else, action effects, blast effects... Uh, movement effects, they, they looked so damn cool. Like, they have, they have, they perfected articulation and design on those figures that they've been using now in their Marvel Legends line. And, I think it was just marketed bad, because it only, li- it's it lived two lines, two waves, and then got cancelled. But if it were still going, I would still be buying them. I've never played the game. I'm probably late ever will, but holy crap, they were fantastic. I have all but one of the figures. And if I ever buy Junkrat, it's going to be out of boredom and because he was like five bucks. And even then, you know, maybe not. But still, <laughs> I mean, who cares about Junkrat? The rest of the figures were great. And it's a, it's a damn shame we're never going to get other versions of them. Because yeah. like, they were doing... Different costume designs, variant colors. They had the cowboy gun, Nerf gun. It was huge. I have it. Well, there it is. Cowboy gun. Pew. Yeah, McCree's gun. They did uh, They did McCree's gun. They did Reaper's shotguns. The fact that we never got a regular costume Reaper, just his flashback outfit, is kind of a shame. Wait, they didn't... Why did they stop? Apparently it wasn't selling. Ooh, too busy playing like the I game said, to buy the I thing. I don't think it was marketed well. Hmm. Oh. But yeah, mine would be Hasbro's Overwatch. Had it, if it still existed, I'd still be buying it. Well, shit. There it is. I think we're running into a couple, and there's a couple there that, if they were still around or had existed, you'd be all over. That's kind of that's kind of a theme with my list. Well, there we go. Number two, right? Yeah. For me, while doing my research, uh, Leon Kennedy penis pump. (laughs) You see, I was Um, looking up some uh, information on Resident Evil by Toy Biz, because I knew, I had a feeling it was by Toy Biz, but I just wanted to cross my I's and dot the lowercase j's. And Google search found a Leon Kennedy penis pump, or at least that's what it was called. It just kind of looked like a you blue penis pump. You can have all the same nodules and tumors. <laughs> ah, but the Resident Evil, I guess it's two, line by Toy Biz, super articulated, badass versions of the characters from the game. They move way better than the people in the game. And they came <laughs> with all kinds of zombies, actual zombies. I remember the zombie you could take its arms and shit off, and it was all gross for the time yet had that, like, articulation thing, but each one came with, like, a, a gimmick. I think Jill came with, like, a, a plant monster? Uh, Leon came with a rocket launcher, badass in his SWAT gear, and uh, stuff. They made the Tyrant, which was sick. Mm-hmm. Had a pumpy blood, little pumpy blood heart. And that was about all they did with it. But the shit was awesome. Because, you know, once again, it was all about the accessories for me. I have a SWAT team guy now. And zombies! Truth. Zombies rule! Back then, it wasn't just a, you know, fun trope. But it was actually, like, you know, different. What are you Scary. gonna do? Resident Evil by Toy Biz. Now it's, that's one that's evergreen. It's like a couple of others on the list where it's like, they keep getting was, remade. Yeah, there was Toy Biz had it, and then there was the company immediately after that I can't think of. Not certain who that was. Maybe Mezco? Sure. I 
Palisades has made shit. Because whatever, whoever it was, I still have the uh, the Jill and the um, Birkin Birkin three from that. Missed opportunity. Did they ever make stuff for the movies? They made enough movies, but I don't think they made any. Not that isn't like sideshow. No, I don't think they did. Alice. I can't recall anything based on like like I would. There aren't enough Mila Jovovich action figures in the world. There need to be more. You could just save up that energy for the real doll. Use your penis pump. <laughs> Leon Kennedy penis pump. Don't worry. That he- that hematoma is supposed to be there. <laughs> Provide with violent <sighs> lotus. Just one day I'll get my cuffs action figure line. <laughs> Number one. Bubble no, no, Bobble. My number two. Your number two, right. So. Yes. My number two is the McFarlane Halo line. I know a lot of people didn't like it because of the somewhat weird articulation. But, my God, I was buying so many of those figures, multiples of each figure, because I could customize every aspect of them. The type of plastic they were made of was really, really easy to take apart. So I have customs all over the place out of these figures. And it still kills me that the line ended before we could actually finish Osiris Team and Blue Team. The char- they're the main characters from the fifth game. Red versus Blue. Rooster Teeth. We got three members of each four-man team. And then, presumably, the last two of each team would have come out in the final wave or in another wave, before McFarland lost the license to Mattel, who then drove it into the ground. Mattel! And then yeah, Jazzwares got it, and now it's just sitting on the pegs. Here? I've heard there's some demand now. But hey, Jazzwares! Is there a Jazz- demand here, in Lexington? I mean... Because those pegs are packed. I don't much care for the opinions of Lexington, by and large, but... Well. Let's give it up for Jazzwares, everybody. Buy some Jazzwares stuff. Before you hit your knees tonight, ask Jazzwares what you can do for them. Jazzwares. Well, Wicked, cool toys. It's not just a clever name. <laughs> All right, you're number one. Number one. It has begun! Mortal Kombat! I I knew it was going to pop up sooner or later. It had to. Hasbro! That's right, I'm kicking it old school. Hasbro! You damn right. They may be repaints of (laughs) Ninja Squad G.I. Joes, but in the (laughs) death knell of G.I. Joe come the Mortal Kombat line. And that line kicks ass. You had motorcycles for no good reason. Kano had his motorcycle. There was Speedboat. With Reptile, why not? But it was the first time that they actually, before the canon of Mortal Kombat ran oh off, God. you had, they were making it up on the fly. And so as Mortal Kombat 2 came out, the action figures, the little, like, G.I. Joes were coming out. The Goro figure fucks, to this day, Goro and Johnny Cage 2-pack, with arena set, rules, because it was one of the first times that the figure could do the things that the characters were supposed to do. And that goes across... The line. Now, (laughs) usually when they expect martial artists, you had the Chuck Norris figure and shit like that, and it just wasn't the same. I I dig it for its 90s cheesiness. I think that it's the perfect, it's a right place, right time kind of scenario. Mortal Kombat is taking off, and Hasbro had an answer with a lot of chaff in the middle, and that's excellent. (laughs) So, yeah, it's evolved, and you could say Mortal Kombat as a concept has had pretty excellent figures, and they have, but for my money, nothing beats the traditional, the classic Mortal Kombat. The only thing that's, like, wrong and off-putting in my book would probably be Shang Tsung with, like, a grenade belt. <laughs> He's not playing anymore. Yeah, I don't, I don't get that, but I never got the, like... It's a lot like uh, later Batman Forever and Batman and Robin figures... I didn't know that they made movie, air quotes, accurate versions of those characters until much later. I think it was KB exclusive. We didn't have a lot of KB around here. So, eh? But there is a Shang Tsung out there in, like, movie gear with full head of movie hair by that fantastic actor whose name I forget. So, 
Mortal Kombat. You can throw them all in your little bag and just have them beat the shit out of each other later. Good times. You have them fight against your Street Fighter G.I. Joes. Yeah, you rip their fucking spine out. <laughs> Raul Julia versus fucking, you know, spit curl <laughs> Liu Kang. <laughs> He's really beefy. That Liu Kang is ready to rip someone in half. That Goro figure, I don't know if they've made a better one in terms of, like, application and whatnot. I mean, that Goro rules. It's probably the only unique figure they made. It's the only one that they had to make from, like, whole cloth. I'm like, oh, shit. But, yeah, Sonya Blade has weird baggy D on. You know that it actually wasn't unique. Considering Goro being the the four-armed character that he was, and that G.I. Joe had plans for an alien invasion line. Oh. <laughs> they had some... I, I vaguely remember some design that may have had four arms. Yeah. I think that was the first time my parents <clears throat> were, like, concerned with my tastes and action figure <laughs> obsession because I was collecting a thing that was clearly a repaint of several other things that we I already had. And I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. This is... This is Johnny Cage and Liu Kang. Thank you. Sonya, Raiden. That's clearly just Kung Fu painted white. Who cares? Yeah, it's the ninjas and they all kind of look alike because it's like you got a yellow one, a blue one, a green one, a gray one. But that's Scorpion. So fuck you. Scorpion's on top. That's a name, Mom. Yeah, Hanzo or whatever. (laughs) Hattori, I think. Yeah, and and Cold Guy. (laughs) Lizard Man, worth it. What is it, man? The price point back then was like four ninety eight. Get over it. <laughs> so Mortal Kombat forever. <laughs> Fair enough. Like I knew it was going to be Mortal Kombat. It had to be in this in this discussion because <laughs> of the number of toy lines. That was not the toy line I was expecting. <laughs> so fair enough. That's uh, yeah. Mortal Kombat. All right, so my number one. I thought about this, and it was difficult to actually narrow this one down to one specific line. Pac Man. So it has to be. It, it's multiple. It's Mega Blocks. Mega Blocks has Call of Duty, Halo, Destiny, Borderlands, oh, Assassin's Creed. Oh, shit. And they are. I know, but and each of these, they're tiny, tiny representations, fully customizable, and they're perfect representations of their characters. They don't just represent the games well, but they also represent the environments and the vehicles. Mm. Like you get entire like That's clutch. worlds out of just out of just these sets. So you don't just have the action figures, you have everything they ride around in. You have environments that they're running around blowing up. Mega Bloks kills it, and they are still killing it. Like, I had to think about it. I was like, like I don't collect Halo figures anymore, and I looked over at my entertainment center. <laughs> there's Mega Bloks Halo. It's like, well, except... And then I look over here, and I see the Mega Bloks. So I've got Borderlands Claptrap looking like he's panicking, running from something. I'm like, okay, yeah, then there's that. And then there's Call of Duty figures all over my friggin' house. Yeah. They're, they're fantastic. So they are definitely my number one, and I can't narrow down which one's the best. <laughs> that's a very, you know, that that's a very creative answer. That works really nice. Controversial is the finish on this one. Kids, we both objectively picked things that are a little silly. But fuck you, that's the fun of it. <laughs> I do have an honorable mention. Oh. For video game toy lines, honorable mention, I'd like to mention Joy Toys Dark Source toy line for being the best not Titanfall figures out there. <laughs> it's They're not Titanfall. Licensed, and they are just like they were originally knocking off Titanfall 100%. They were just making Titanfall figures, and I think finally someone showed up with a lawyer and a battle axe to make it stop. And so now they're just making their own designs that fit into the Titanfall universe beautifully. They're one, they do 118th scale and 124th scale. And yeah. the figures, these tiny little figures, still have better articulation than some of the G.I. Joe's 
I've had. They are so they're itty bitty and they're so detailed. Itty and it's bitty. so cool. And they fit in these giant these giant robots that have better articulation and posability than I do. <laughs> you have to start working on that exoskeleton, man. Yeah, true. Three D print up some, some some thermal yeah. Three D print you up some legs. Yeah, I could. I'm totally behind that. <laughs> but yeah, that's my honorable mention. Hey! And that is top five for us. Check us out at One Stop Geek Shop on Twitter and YouTube. Not Facebook, I guess. Download all of our episodes. Well, we're working on something for Facebook. Woo! Get in touch with us. Tell us your top five favorite. Tell us how we're wrong or how we're right. Show us pictures of stuff. Ooh. I almost did some of that, but then I didn't. Because it's, you know, well, yeah. it's, it's a vacuum. But I guess that'll wrap it up. So as we always say, here at the One Stop Geek Shop, never grow up, never surrender. Ah, bye bye <laughs>